I was 18 years old and everybody went in at that time, in 1943. I was assigned to the U.S. Army Air Force. Uh, there was no separate Air Force then. I went, I went to Shepherd Field for basic training. Stayed there about six weeks, I should think. We were assigned to a crew, B-17 crew. There were six enlisted and four commissioned. I was assigned as, as a waste gunner, and it has a flexible caliber 50 machine gun in the window. And there's a, a, about a three month training period. April of 44, it was about Easter time, as I recall. We loaded up our personal gear on the airplane, added fuel tanks to the bomb bay, and headed, headed to Europe. My, my bomb group, the 398th bomb group, was the last one that went to Europe as a unit. All others were replacements, individual replacements, both air, airplanes and people. My first mission was to Berlin. And those Berliners are very sensitive about airplanes flying over. It was, it was, it was a scary thing. But in those days, we, we we, we thought it was fun. And every time the anti-aircraft fire came up, a, a piece of the this thing would hit the airplane and we'd mark it up, keep score. And the first mission we were down in, in the English Channel. As we descended, I was throwing gear out to lighten up the airplane, which try to get back to the base. And I looked out the window and all I could see was green water. I don't swim. Never learned to swim. We had a life vest on, a pneumatic life vest. And I jumped out of the airplane and pulled the strings and it came out there. And I jumped out in the water. Well, I was sort of paddling my way away from the airplane. And said, someone said, Turner, where are you going? I looked back and they were standing in knee deep water back there. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't have to learn to swim. When we were shot down the second time in Munich, we, we put the airplane down on a strip. We didn't have, didn't have to bail out. And a German column was riding by very close. And of course they saw us. And they sent a, a truck up with two, two young soldiers in it. And they lined us up and guarded us. And one of the officers decided we could possibly get away from there. And the man walked up to his extreme his turnaround position and the navigator gave us a signal. And we broke and went to the woods. And we separated, we, we, we lost each other. I stopped in, 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 under a tree and an old gentleman came out of, the, out of the woods. And of course, I should have known we were in France. He had to be a Frenchman, but it scared me and I thought he was a German. And I hit the old fellow. He disappeared and he came out, Pilo American, took me to his house. And later that night, all of our crew went to that house. And then we started walking out of there. It was a good career wherever I was. Sometimes not as comfortable as others, but it was, uh, it was good. I, I don't remember a time when I wished I could leave it. There, I'm sure there were some times, but I don't remember them.